and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can set up different orientation handles for our interactables based on where we grab them, and also how to change the grab offset type depending on where we grab our objects as well. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at, and it really helps to fund these videos. So we're in the scene where we set up our handgun with the orientation handle where we can grab it and it will snap into a standard gun pose and where we could grab the sword and it would snap to the correct pose based on which hand we were grabbing it with. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the handgun up to give it two different orientation handles. One, when we grab the handle, it will snap as a normal gun pose. And if we grab the barrel of the gun, it will snap into a position of where we can kind of pistol whip somebody with it. And with the sword, what we're going to do is set this up when we grab the handle. It goes into the standard orientation handle grab that we've set up. But if we grab the blade, it goes into a precision grab and allows us to grab that blade anywhere and move our hand around accordingly. So let's start with the handgun as that's a more complex setup. So if we look at our handgun, we can see it sets orientation handle and the orientation handle logic is game object relation. So we want to go show the orientation handle container. That will take us down into the orientation handle collection. And if we expand that, we can see we've got our generic orientation handle. And that's already been set up with the relevant settings so it goes into that natural gun grab for us. I'm just going to rename this one to handle orientation and then I'm going to copy this and make one for the barrel grab orientation. And if we zoom in on this we basically want to change this orientation handle now so it's over here and it's based in the opposite direction. So I'm just going to reset all this information. So what we want is the forward when we grab it to actually be going the other way. So I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees around the y axis. And then all we need to do is move this forward so it's nearer the barrel. So when we grab it, we'll be grabbing it here and it'll be facing straight down our controller. And let's zoom back out. So what we want to do now is be able to tell our orientation handle game object event proxy meter which orientation handle to use based on which collider we grab. So to do that, we're going to set up on each of these orientation handles a game object event proxy meter. So I'm just going to add that component. And what we want to do in the emitted event is add a listener and we want to grab the orientation handles object and drop that in there. And then in the function, we want to go to game object event proxy meter and we just want to set the payload. Now by default, both of these payloads are set to nothing, but what we want the payload to be is actually the orientation object that this is. So for the handle orientation, we're going to set the payload to handle orientation. And for the barrel grab orientation, we're going to set the payload to barrel grab orientation. And now if we go and look at the orientation handles logic, we can see this game object event proxy meter is what sets our orientation handle. And this logic is called from inside orientation handle logic, inside the game object relations logic, we can see it's being called here, where we call the game object event proxy meter receive. We still want this to call, but we don't want it to call receive because that will pass through the game object of what's included in this relations. But we're specifically setting it now within these game object emitters in here. So all we need to do is change this from receive, go down to game object event proxy meter, and just change it to emit payload. And instead of passing the payload through that this object will have, it will just emit the payload on here when we set that to based on whichever orientation handle we're using. The next thing we need to do now is set up some rules to know when we've grabbed the barrel or when we've grabbed the handle. So on our interactable handgun, I'm just going to select that and I'm going to create an empty game object in here to hold these rules. And I'm just going to call it grabbed collider rules. So what we're going to do is just check to see what colliders we've got on our gun. So if I go up to interactable handgun, and then just do show mesh container. And then if we look inside the mesh container, we can see I've got a collection of colliders. I've got one called body, which will be our barrel. And then I've got handle and handle base. So if I grab handle base or grab handle, I want to grab the handle of the gun. And if I grab body, I want to grab it in the orientation that it looks like I'm pistol whipping. So we need to make sure we know what these are. And then down in the grab collider rules, I'm going to set up a couple of rules to deal with this. So go to window and then zinnia and then the observable list component generator. And I'm just going to use a list contains rule. So find list contains rule, select that. And I'm going to give this the name of is handle rule. And we can see that's created our rule in there for us. And I'm going to create another rule here as well called is barrel rule. And with both of those created, I can close this window down for now. So on the is handle rule, a list contains rule just checks to see if a list contains the game objects that we provide to it. So it needs two elements because our handle contains handle and handle base. So I'm going to add two in here and then for these elements I'm going to grab handle drag and drop and handle base drag and drop and this rule now if handle or handle base is true then this rule will be true and then same for the barrel rule if we're on the barrel I'm just going to add another element and grab body and drag it into there so if we grab barrel that means this rule will be true and therefore we can use that to set up the rules matcher. 
let's go to the rules matcher now and we can set that up. So let's just collapse some of this down as we're not going to need it. And then if we look in the interactable internal, we've got this grab collider matcher. If we select that, we can see it's got a rules matcher on it. And what this will do is it will pass the collider that's been grabbed through to the rules matcher. And then any rule that matches, we can do some action based on that. So we've got a couple of rules that we've already set up. We've got the is handle rule. So we put that rule into here. So if the is handle rule is true, meaning one of those colliders is grabbed, this matched event will run. And then we want our is barrel rule in the other one. So if the barrel is grabbed, we want this event to run. So when this event runs, all we want to do is if we expand our grab logic again, and then we go down to the handle orientation and we put that into there. All we want this to do now is go to the game object event proxy emitter and emit the payload. And that will emit the payload that we set up in there, which was to say, use that handle as the orientation handle. And then the same for this element as well. We're going to add a listener into the matched event. And then in there, we just want to use our barrel grab orientation. And on the game object event proxy emitter, we just want to call it emit payload. And that'll do the same thing. When we grab by the barrel, if it picks up that the barrel has been grabbed, it will then set that barrel grab orientation to our orientation handle. And then we go, our handgun is now set up, so we can collapse that down and we can go over and look at our sword. So our sword is even easier. All we need to do is set up the rules in our sword to determine where we're grabbing. So again, I'm just going to expand sword and I'm going to add another empty game object in here to hold our rules. So I'm just going to call this collider grab rules again. And then in here, we just need one list contains rules now. So I'm going to go to window, senior, and then the observable list component generator. And I'm going to go down to the list contains rule and I'm going to create a rule called is blade grabbed. And if I click generate component, we can see that rule has now gone over to here and I can close this down. And then if I open my mesh container and then open sword, we can see we've got blade, which has got the collider on it. And we've got guard and we've got handle. So rather than actually set up a rule for each one of these now, all I'm going to do is set up a rule to know when the blade is grabbed. So the element in there is going to be blade. That's going to tell me if the blade is grabbed. And now what I'm going to do is add a negation rule component. And this negation rule basically flips whatever this is. So if we grab the blade, this will be true. And that means if we grab the blade, this will be false. So what we need to do is set this negation rule up to use this rule. So we just grab, drag and drop that rule into the negation rule rule setting. And then make sure we select list contains rule. So now we've got two rules on here. One that says when we grab the blade, this will be true and this will be false. And when we don't grab the blade, this will be false and this will be true. So we can use that logic simply now to determine where we've grabbed on our sword. So all we need to do now is expand the internal game object on our sword. Go down to the grab collider matcher, set up two elements again. And then in the first element, we're going to use is blade grabbed as the rule. And we're going to make sure we use the list contains rule. And that will tell us we've grabbed the blade. And then we're going to use the other rule on our is blade grabbed as the negation rule. And that's now doing the opposite. That will say if we haven't grabbed the blade, do this. So all we want to do now is in our grab logic, if we expand this and then expand the action container, we can see we've got our follow action here. We're going to add two listeners into each of our events here. And we want to put the follow action into both of these. So when we grab the blade, all we want to do is change our grab offset from the orientation handle grab to precision point. So if we go all the way back up to our interactable sword and then scroll down, we can see on the grab offset orientation handle is number one. So this is zero, one, two, three. So we know orientation handle is one and we know precision point is two. So let's remember those and go back to our collider matcher. And now all we need to do is on the function, go to the grab interactable follow action. And we just want to set the grab offset type. So we go set grab offset. And we remember that when we grab in the blade, we want to move to precision grab. So that was number two. So we put a two in there. And then when we don't grab the blade, we just want to go back to orientation grab. So again, we go to the function, grab interactable follow action, set the grab offset and orientation handle is a value of one. And there we go, we've set our sword up now. So when we grab the blade, it will grab it with precision grab. So we can grab anywhere along that blade. But if we grab the handle or the hilt or anywhere that's not the blade, it'll automatically snap back to that sword orientation handle grab. There we go, let's jump into the scene and see this working. So we're in the scene now, and if I pick up the handgun, we can see it snaps to the normal orientation as we're holding a gun, and that will do it for both controllers. But if I grab the barrel, instead of going into that, it goes into this kind of like pistol whip grab. And then we can grab between the two. So we can switch that orientation handle around however we grab that gun. And then for the sword, if I pick the sword up, we can see I've got the orientation handle switching between the two controllers. But if I grab the blade, instead of using an orientation handle now, it will go to precision grab and allow us to grab around that sword. And then we can grab back on the handle and it goes back to the orientation handle. And there we go, we've set up multiple orientation handle grabs 
and different grab offset types based on where we're grabbing our interactables. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.